Hi all. This is Adam and his mother. They both are having some trouble and weren't able to see things a bit clearly. So, their mom took them to the ophthalmologist, that is the eye doctor. After examining, the doctor said it's just a simple case of myopia for Adam and hyperopia for his mom. They seem to be very complex words. What exactly is it, doctor? asked Adam. The doctor said, "Don't worry. Adam is having short-sightedness, that is myopia. Adam's mother is suffering from long-sightedness, that is hypermetropia or hyperopia." In order to understand this better, let's see what exactly is happening in Adam and his mother's eyes. Before that, we should see how a normal human eye looks like and work. Now, in a human eye, there are a lot of different parts as you can see, but we are more focused on the lens and the ciliary muscles which helps us to see near and far objects. When you are looking at something which is far away, the ciliary muscles stretches the lens and reduces the focal length which makes the object clear. and when the objects are close the ciliary muscles compress and increases the focal length when the light falls on the lens it converges and forms an inverted image on the retina this image is later made erect in the brain and that's how we see the world now in the case of myopia the image is formed in front of the retina instead of on the retina In this case people can see close objects clearly but the objects which are farther away are blurry. Now why does this happen? Why is the image formed in front of retina? This happens due to elongated eyeballs and because of that the distance between the lens and the retina is increased which makes the light rays to get converged in front of the retina. In the case of nearer objects this does not happen the light rays gets converged on the retina and hence they can see closer objects clearly this can be corrected with the use of simple concave lens a concave lens is a lens that possesses at least one surface that curves inwards and is thinner from its center when compared to its edges It's a diverging lens meaning that it spreads out light rays that have been refracted through it. The opposite of myopia is hyperopia where the image is formed behind the retina and because of this objects which are far can be seen clearly and objects which are close are blurry. The reason for the defect is that the eyeball is compressed and the focal length is reduced which causes the focal point to fall behind the retina. This can be corrected with the simple use of convex lens. A convex lens is a lens that possesses at least one surface that curves outwards and is thicker at its center when compared to its edges. It is a converging lens meaning that it merges out light rays that have been refracted through it. Well, let us see in brief what we have just learned. This is a chart that explains what is the difference between myopia and hyperopia well friends that is it for today's session i hope you guys have enjoyed the video in case you have any doubts please comment down and yes subscribe to our channel also don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from let's tutor till then keep watching keep learning and follow your curiosity